Okay, so we're here at Autodesk Inventor 2016, and we are going to take a look at some of the other 3D tools. So we're going to go ahead and click drop-down menu and click part. And notice that we always have to start with a sketch. So in this case, we're going to do um, we're going to do a revolve. Okay, so we're going to click the 2D sketch. For revolve, we're going to actually select the X Y plane just because. Well, we can do that X Z plane. Doesn't really matter. So for the revolve, we're actually going to use. Um, we're going to go ahead and we need a couple of objects inside of the, the, um, the drawing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a circle. Then we're going to create a polygon just to make a complex shape here because it's more interesting. Um, okay, and then we actually need a line. So let's make a line somewhere outside of the object. Usually you want to make it... Uh, you know, kind of 90 degree of the axis, straight up and down. In this case, of course, for some reason, it's going in sideways all the time in the sketch. doesn't matter, though. So as long as it looks something like this, and then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to trim out. This is one case, just because we're demoing, we're not going to make it, um, we're not going to make uh, a big deal out of dimensioning in this case. We could dimension both. So we have our enclosed, enclosed area here on the right. We have our line here on the left. And we're going to go ahead and do a finish sketch. Okay, now to do our revolve, we're actually going to click revolve here. And then we're going to select profile is the enclosed area. And then axis is the line. Now, the line actually could be on the thing itself. So notice that if I click the line on the thing itself, notice I get this kind of donut-ish type shape here. Okay. Um, however, if I click the axis out here instead... I get kind of a larger donut, all right? Now that that is um, so in this case it's 360 revolve, right, around the um, around the axis itself. Okay, so we can go ahead and click OK there. All right, so there is our revolve. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to make another 2D sketch. Oops. Um, so let's say that we want to make a 2D sketch somewhere out here in space. And notice that we don't have our origin. So you know at the beginning when I clicked on 2D sketch, we had those nice uh, yellow um, um, you know, 3D grid pop up. That doesn't happen when I do a second 3D sketch. So in this case, we actually have to go into the browser and open up the origin folder. And notice that in this case, if I go ahead and I click on the XY plane here, Okay, that I actually create sketch two on the XY plane. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and do the, kind of a similar thing, uh, and in that we're going to go ahead and create a um, another a circle. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a circle, and we're going to create another line. Okay, and we're going to do kind of the complicated cousin of the revolve, which is coil. Okay, so we created a circle, a line. This the circle would be any any enclosed shape, right? It could be a complex shape uh, that we make. Um, so it could be literally anything, any enclosed shape. Um, of course, we have to use the trim tool if we want to make this enclosed. Kind of combine those areas together. Okay, we're going to go ahead and right click and click OK, and then finish sketch. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and click on Coil, and once again, we're going to uh, select an area. Okay, so I went ahead and selected the profile, it's called, so that's our closed area. We're going to go ahead and click the axis, okay? And notice we get this, um, instead of getting a full preview, we actually get a preview of the line that goes around here. Now, the, th the one thing that happens in coils is that there's a lot of options here, so if the pitch the error that is the most common error probably in Inventor is this the coil pitch. If we clicked OK in this case, let's say we wanted to make the revolutions more than one. Let's say we wanted two revolutions. We click OK. This create coil feature fails if the coil runs into itself. So basically, this shape, imagine the shape gets repeated around the, the path of the coil. If it runs into itself, it will error. Okay, so... We have to make the pitch, that's the distance between coils, um, at least be more than the, um, 
you know, so the shape won't run into itself. It has to be more than the width of the shape itself. Okay, so let's go ahead and do um, five revolutions, and we're going to make it taper. Okay, so just to exercise some of the options here, we're going to make it taper. The taper is going to be one inch also. Let's make it 10, just so we can see it. The coil ends. You can also um, you can also make the coil ends um, uh, flat, natural. Natural just means wherever the shape stops. You can also make it a transition angle, so the coil end itself will be cut off at a certain angle. So if you notice later on when you're using these coils that your ends are giving you problems, come back in and take a look at the end uh, options. For now, we're just going to go ahead and click OK. Inventor works, and notice that it creates kind of this coil shape here. Okay, so we have kind of this coil shape ending in that circular shape that we had. All right. Uh, also, at this point, let's take a look. If I um, if I select um, this coil here, okay. If you notice this little ball up at the very top, you can actually make stuff in Inventor look a certain way. So, for example, if I click next to this ball. If your screen is larger, you'll just have these drop downs. It collapses and will show this double arrow, the arrow to show there's more of a menu. We can actually go in and create this. Let's say that we want to make it gold. Okay. Notice that it changes it to metal, right? Okay, we can, so you can actually go in and make it a lot of different stuff here. So, um, for example, you can make it chrome or concrete. Okay, so notice that you can kind of change the look of each different part here, uh, which can make your uh, your things look a little bit more interesting. All right, so next we're going to go ahead. Uh, we're actually going to save this off. Um, uh, and we're going to create another part to demonstrate a couple more things. Okay, so we're going to go and save it, and we're going to go ahead and create a new part. So do the drop down, do part. And this time we're going to go ahead and create a loft. Or I'm sorry, we're going to go ahead and create a sweep. Okay, so you actually have to make two sketches in this case. So our first sketch we're going to put on the XY plane. And that sketch is going to be, you know, for the starter one, let's just make a one inch circle. Okay, so we're going to make a one inch circle. Okay, that's our first sketch. We click finish sketch. So we have our first sketch. The next, uh, now we have to make a second sketch. Now for sweep, we need a path that passes through this circle. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and use the XY plane. Okay, so notice that when I'm making that second sketch, I click on XY. Let's go through that again. Oops. Okay, so let's say I go into origin and I click on one of the planes, right? Um, if I click, there's it depends on which order you do this stuff in. So if I click on 2D sketch, it's going to automatically put a 2D sketch. Oops, I did there. Okay, so I click on 2D sketch again. Notice that because the origin is expanded, I believe, um, that it displays the, uh, the planes there. Um, so we can go ahead and take that XY plane, raise it up a little bit, do the check. Okay, now we're just going to go ahead and we're going to create a... Um, a spline. Okay, so we're going to click the down arrow on line, and a spline is kind of this odd thing. Um, it's not odd, but it's just a curved line. And notice that I just keep clicking, and by the way that I click, it creates this kind of curved um, line, basically. Okay, the trick with the spline is that you don't want on the last dot we click a check mark. Notice it kind of creates this. Uh, this curved line, and then I can go back in and I can actually change the curvature of it by 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 moving these dots around. Okay, so we have our curved line. We go ahead and click finish sketch, and we create this situation where we have this. See if you you just have this curved line passing through the circle. Okay, now we go ahead and create our sweep. So we're going to click our profile. It automatically selects the circle. Our path. It automatically selected the line. And we can go ahead and click uh, OK. We can also do taper and twist. It won't twist won't show because it's a circle. Click OK. 
So what we get is this create sweep feature fail, and that's because it's self-intersected again. So just like we just like on the coil, if it intersects itself as it's creating the sweep, it will error. So in this case, what we need to do is we need to go back in. We can either move the spline to be less curved, or we can change the circle to be smaller. Okay, those are the two two things that are kind of an easy fix. Okay, we're gonna go uh, sweep again. Sometimes it's oh okay. So we got our dis we got our preview there, which is a sure sign that it's going to uh, to um, be correct. Notice that I can do twist, I can do taper. Okay, and I can if it's out of an expected range, which is fine. Okay, we're going to go ahead and hit zero on the taper because it seems to be having problems right now on this computer. Click OK. And there is our spline. Okay, so we can create these kind of organic shapes using spline. All right, we're going to go ahead and save this one off. And to do our last 3D shape, uh, and that is going to be loft. Okay, so we go, uh, we're going to Go ahead and close out, and we're going to go to our new uh, part. And we're going to go ahead, and Loft is going to take, uh, we're going to actually do three sketches, and they're going to be kind of simple. So the first sketch is going to be our top. So I'm going to click and drag on the yellow circle up. Let's say I'm going to go five inches. Click the check mark. And I'm just going to make a small circle on this, locked to the origin. Okay, just a small circle. I click the check to finish sketch. Now I have my my initial uh, sketch. Notice that the origin was not expanded, so if I open up the origin here, and I notice that I highlight over the XC plane, then I can move over and actually adjust it. So I'm going to bring that up to 0.25 inches. Okay, I'm going to click the green check. So now I'm actually drawing underneath that first circle, and now I'm just going to create a uh, a rectangle slightly larger, click, drag, click, and finish sketch. So now I have two sketches, notice that kind of are in 3D space kind of under each other. Finally, I'm going to create a 2D sketch just directly on the X and plane, and that one is going to be a, a, an even larger rectangle. So we're going to go ahead and click, make an even larger rectangle, click, finish sketch. Now I have this kind of stack of sketches, if you can see that there. Okay, so I have this stack of sketches, and that's what I'm going to make my loft out of. So I go ahead and click loft, and I'm just going to click to add, add the faces, so I, or add the area. And notice that loft is going to kind of, if you can imagine, it kind of averages them out to create a, a 3D shape, if you want to think about it like that. Okay, I click OK, and there is my loft. Okay, so in addition with this loft, let's take a look at making um, one additional feature here, and let's take a look at making a shell. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to click. Um, these are areas, see the modify right here? So these are things that you can do to a 3D feature that you've already made. So let's go ahead and click shell. And we're going to go ahead and click, um, we're going to unclick automatic face change. Okay, well, well, let's see the difference. So we're going to click the bottom face here. Okay, and notice what it does. It hollows out that shape. Okay, so you notice that? It hollows out the shape. Okay, and the, the, the thickness here is the thickness of the shell. So if we go 0 0.05, whoops, 0 0.05. Okay, notice that the thickness of that shell will change. Okay, so notice that it changed there. Okay, and now it goes up to the top. Okay, and we can add the face up here. Oh, well, let's add the face, which is fine. Okay, so there's our shell. I'm going to go ahead and click cancel just to not add the shell for now. So I'm going to then I'm going to click on shell again, add that bottom face. 
Shell can be a bit unpredictable, so let's go ahead and click the green check. And there I have shelled that object. Okay, so an example of this would be, say you want to make design like a cell phone case or something. Okay, this would be an example where you draw the shape and then you shell it to leave that area out, you know, the, the, the area inside of something out. Okay, um, finally, let's go ahead and add um, a fillet to this. So fillet is just a curved side on an object, so we can fillet these sides. And a fillet just means that you're curving off the sides to make them look a little bit more smooth. Fillet can be a little bit temperamental too. The way that you're going to fillet is that you're actually going to make it work. You're going to reduce the size of the fillet. So if the fillet errors out, you know, sometimes you can do uh, uh, reduce the size of the fillet. They're the radius of the fillet. So. Okay, so that kind of rounded off our top there. All right, the other thing that you can do here to make your drawings look a little bit better is you can um, remove the work plane. You can set the visibility on our work plane. So if we right click the work plane, you can click uncheck visible, and that kind of gets rid of your work plane there. So we have an example of 3D. Okay, uh, good luck. Go ahead and try um, revolve, sweep, loft, coil, and then fillet and shell. Okay, so that's going to be our 3D modeling that we're going to try out, these additional 3D modeling tools. Uh, good luck.